Hello and welcome to City Skylines. Now, when I did a poll, probably about almost a year and a half ago at this point, I would imagine, um, I asked what games would people like to see, put up some suggestions, City Skylines was one of them, and it came second on the poll, and I said, yeah, we'll, we'll play all the games on the poll eventually, we'll just get around to it when I finish the previous one. Uh, and I mean, technically we've just finished with Skyrim, so it seems perfect chance to come back and play City Skylines. Now, there are a ton of differences from when I first played this. Um, I stopped playing roughly after the After Dark DLC came out, and there's been a couple since. Apparently, the Snowfall and the Natural Disasters DLC are very self-contained, or kind of meant to be played within, like, the concept that you're playing the DLC, basically. Um, and they don't really go out into the rest of, like, into just normally playing the game. But the Mass Transit DLC changes a whole bunch in that it adds in a bunch of different ways to get your people around. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the differences are. Now, we're going to just jump in and then we'll talk a little bit about what kind of place we're wanting to um, make. We're going to, maybe we'll go for this place. City name, we're going to change it from Renmont to um, maybe Alpaxville. Maybe um, Alpaville. There we go. That's where we're going to be. Left hand drive, perfect. Or, or left hand traffic. And let's uh, jump into the map. So, what is our objective going to be in this series? Well, what I want to do is I want to try and build up uh, our city kind of from uh, the base and kind of build it up like that. So, we're going to not, instead of just trying to start with like the center of the city and build outwards, we're going to start with a lot of uh, little villages around the place. And uh, then we're going to try and make a population center after we've got the villages kind of self contained uh, self-contained and kind of self-sufficient. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, game's trying to give me some tutorial messages because uh, I've recently reinstalled it, but I think I've got the idea. So we have this highway that kind of comes in here and then comes out there. So um, ideally we're going to want to at some point uh, make kind of uh, some systems to split up this highway traffic so it doesn't all just come straight out into our uh, main bit, but Right now, we're going to be fine with that. We're going to be fine with just moving straight in and getting our first village set up. So, uh, let's set this up. I think you have to build a bit of road, if I remember right. Then, you, yeah, th then you can delete the bit of road. The reason you do that is because it unlocks uh, the one-way drive. So, let's head up here. Let's maybe, how much money do we have to spend? Oh, six, uh, 69,000. That's fine. And then we'll head... Uh... Yeah, along one, and then down here. And that's slightly off, but that seems absolutely fine to me. Right, now, once we've done that, this is kind of, basically, they're going to come in, and then they can turn around and leave again, if that's what they're after. Um, actually, we probably don't even want these connected right now. We probably want to um, move around here and then get a separate connection in. So we're going to kind of move off of this bit. Maybe we want to just connect them with a two-way road. Just kind of make, make it part of our system. So let something like uh, that at the start. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then we'll kind of... Uh, I'm just going to want some curvy roads. We don't want it to all be grid-based. We'll make this bit grid-based and then kind of go curvy. And make it look like a proper town is basically the objective. So, um, what's this one? Freeform road. That's what we're after. So we'll just kind of curve in a little bit and just go for something a little bit unique looking. There we go. Uh, something like that, maybe. And we'll kind of build it next to the water a little bit. That seems all right. And then I think we can just start uh, giving them some different uh, zoning. So we'll just set... Uh, or maybe we'll build a little bit off this as well while, while we're at it. So let's build... Although we should build water and uh, electricity make sure we actually have enough money for things. So what kind of electricity are we having? Um, we could go for coal power plant. It just gives a ton of electricity straight off the bat, which seems all right. It was going to give us a lot of pollution. Wind turbines are okay. Um, we can see we get a lot up here on the ridge, which could be fine. We also appear to have like a little ruins of a castle. Okay. Yeah, but we're going to build a... I think we'll build a couple of wind turbines up here. That seems all right. And then, if we can, do we not have to build connections between these things? I think you do. Anyway, uh, for water, we're just going to go for um, 
Which way is this flow? This flows this way. So what we want to do is we want to have the water pumping station, like, up here, maybe. Then we want to have the water drainage system down here, ideally. Like, really far away from each other. And then we'll just pl uh, get the plumbing set up. Here we go. So we'll set that over there. Then we'll just set it over this area. So something like that. We're not trying to be as efficient as possible. We're just trying to make it... And we're not trying to waste money, but we're just trying to make it all right. Here we go. Uh, and then maybe a little bit more over here. Something like 400. I think it's 495, if I remember right, is the exact amount that you need. There we are. So yeah, we're running out of money very quickly doing this. So it's good that we uh, did this instead of just straight building. Electricity. Uh, do we not have to build electricity lines between places? I seem to remember that. Oh, it's, it's the, uh, use the pylons. There we are. So we'll build one over there. And we'll build one over here. If I didn't cancel it instead of building it. And we probably want to build something like this. That seems alright. Uh, and then probably we want to just spread that out a little bit a lot across the place. Just so that we have a, you know, a couple of different bits where we can get electricity. That seems alright. Uh, we could, we're probably going to optimize this later once we actually have buildings built, because buildings, I believe, uh, move electricity between each other, so that's fine. A little bit low on money, but uh, we'll maybe build a little bit out here as well. So, yeah, and maybe build that round and connect it. Cool. That's not too bad. It looks a little bit like a uh, snail with a hat on right now, but that's all right. Uh, okay. So, uh, we don't actually have anything else we want to build. We can change budgets and things if we want to, but we're just going to leave those alone for just now. And let's start. Uh, oh, we also probably want to make sure this new area has water. Because everything needs water anyway, so... There we are. New area has water. So let's zone this a little bit. Let's think. So we're going to have the most that... Ideally, we probably want industry away from everything else, but we probably want industry near the road, so... Maybe we'll have industry on the way out for just now. We're probably going to move a lot of this uh, later anyway. Um, yeah, we'll maybe have a little bit of industry on the way in. Although that's going to cause trouble because when they come in here, uh, they're going to get slowed down. So maybe we don't we don't want to keep that permanently. Something like that. And then maybe a few bits of industry just around the place. I think we can like uh, paint in a different way as well. Oh yeah, we can use kind of box painting if we want to. But this is fine. Um, then we probably want, uh, a little, for our little village, probably want, uh, the rest of it to be this, unless it's, um, unless it's shops, so, and then we'll have, like, a few little shops here and there, so we'll have, like, uh, do we need, like, the, uh, nothing one, there we go, clear, so we'll just clear, uh, a couple of spaces for some, like, local shops, nothing, nothing too major right now, there we go. There we go. A couple local shops in there. Cool. Now we'll see whether everything we've just done is complete nonsense and is going to fail. So, on pause, speed it up, and see what happens. So, the power seems to be working, which is nice. Uh, water seems to be alright, although we are draining the water here, which means that we're actually not getting a ton of water from this, I don't think. Uh, it says operating normally, but I would assume that the fact that the water keeps dipping away means that we're losing some. That's fine. Cool. Uh, hooray, the pumping station has been constructed. Yeah, they seem to quite like that. Got a little bit of industry. We don't have a lot of money coming in, but we have a lot of people coming in, which is good. Uh, what have we got here? We got a box factory. Perfect. Uh, yes, we can rename everything. And we probably will at some point, but that's fine. Got some of our people in here. All the houses have been built. Actually, we don't have many people in here yet. But we have a lot of houses. So we'll see how that works. We have some uh, different factories. Okay, cool. A little bit of demand for some more um, commercial. So what we might do uh, is we might just dezone one of those. Put in a little commercial building. And maybe um, we'll dezone that one and put in a, a bigger commercial building. There we go. There's all of our people all in with their cars. 
Right, no money really being made yet, but we, we could get there. What we might want to do is we might want to raise the amount that we asked for, although we can't raise taxes. Could lower our budget on these things, though, depending on how much we use. What's our electricity like? Can we see how much we actually use? Uh, there we go. Yeah, so water is... Yeah, so we can probably lower water by about half at the very least, and same with electricity. So let's just do that so we make some money. So let's go for about half here. Oh, half's the lowest we can go for. So there we go. That's going to save us a ton of money up front. That's good. We should start making money soon. With that happening, I would assume. We'll see, though. We'll see. They're all very mad. Why? Sewage is backing up. Oh my god, did I forget to... Wait. No? There's the sewage. Uh, wait, let me have a look here. There's the sewage. It's definitely being drained. Wait, what is this connected to? That's connected through there. That's connected to here. Maybe... Oh no, what's the problem here? There should definitely be sewage. I don't think there's a problem. We'll wait a little bit. We'll see if the town is truly annoyed. No, okay, they're sorted. They're, they're just complaining and then that'll go away. Yeah. Yeah, they're absolutely fine. There are no problems here. Perfect, perfect. There are no problems here sounds like a very sinister thing to say about our town. Please do not look any further into this. There are no problems here. The town is perfect. What do we need for our milestone? We need 460 for a small hamlet, which gives us taxes and loans, which is kind of the bit where we can start speeding up our progress a little bit. Um, we can probably just get rid of those ones right now, because they're not getting used. It's fine, just clean it up a little bit. Are people feeling about water now? Yeah, st we're still good, we're still good. These ones need some more uh, people working at them, but that's fine. Um, although it says that there's an industry demand, not so much a worker demand. So maybe the people just haven't found jobs yet? Or maybe we need more um, commercial to get people interested. Uh, electricity, it says we're low on. Uh, we are indeed low on electricity, so we will just pump that back up a little bit. Let's go for like 75% here. There we go. Perfect. That'll give us enough electricity to keep going. Um, let's maybe build a little bit on. Let's build... Um, let's build a second little area. So it says that we need uh, a little bit of commercial and we probably need more residential, probably. So let's just build a next, the next bit out here. So I actually don't want to demolish any houses, so I'm just seeing if there's any... This area doesn't have any houses. So we can just build out probably over next to the uh, water here. Just build out a little bit. Cool. Uh, and then... Yeah, that, that's... Uh, two-way road, so that's fine. And we'll just build a few shops at the shorefront, and then uh, the rest can be residential. Cool. Let's see how this does. Uh, some people should start building along here soon. They should probably build here first, I would imagine. I uh, don't see any shops building along the end here, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, a few people are annoyed. Uh, road names. What are they annoyed about? Uh, I have no idea what they're annoyed about. That's fine. There we go. Getting some buildings built here. Nice. Some more just kind of building around the place. We almost have enough. In fact, we're about to hit our milestone, which is perfect. There we go. Small hamlet. So what this one gives us is it gives us taxes, so we can now tax our population. Loans. So we can take out loans, obviously. But we also now have to be... Basically, the way I see each of these little milestones is it says, here's the new stuff that you can use to achieve your tasks. Here are the new things you have to deal with. So, we now have to deal with garbage collection, we have to deal with healthcare, and we have to deal with education. Very uh, easy subjects, I'm sure. Anyway, um, let's see. It looks like the hat's got a little bit of a trail now, or a tail to it. Um, let's maybe build a little uh, garbage dump over here. So, it's going to go for something uh, a little bit like this. Just Let's see, let's go for... Pretty much an almost circle. There we go. This is our almost circle garbage dump area. And we're just going to connect that in 
here. Probably. There we go. Let's connect that in there. Uh, we do need to do a little bit of rezoning here, actually, just to fix that, but that's fine. Yeah, that means we destroyed someone's house, I think, that little symbol. Uh, we'll put one in there. We can also destroy that, which gives us just a little bit more space for a larger house. Cool. Uh, over here, we want to start building garbage stuff, so we're going to build a dump uh, right there. And I believe we also have to buy some trucks as well. Although what we should really do is we should upgrade these roads to be one way. Uh, it doesn't really matter what way it is. But if we do something like that, it, may, it makes it more like a, they're coming in and then they go around the loop and then they head out again. Uh, actually, if we're left hand dry, if we're on the left hand side of the road, it would make a ton more sense for it to be going the other way. Because then they come on going this way and they leave going that way. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. We'll just turn those around. So happy this new feature was added from, from when I first played, because that was a pain. You had to destroy the whole thing and restart. Okay, cool. So do we, we probably have to spend some money on that as well, I imagine. I seem to remember having to um, buy a lot of uh, trucks to go around. Oh, it might have been a number of dumps. Each one had uh, a number of garbage trucks that go with it. That might be it. Um, we'll, we'll stick with just one for just now. We'll see if we need any more. Healthcare. Now, healthcare kind of covers an area. Uh, that looks like a good space, almost. Although it's a space already occupied. Um, where could we put it? Here? Here's alright. Seems like this area near the, uh, near this is going to need, uh, near the industrial area is going to need the most healthcare. I have to destroy a house if we're putting it in there. Yeah, we could destroy a small house here. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we'll destroy a very small house here. That's fine. Everyone's happy that we put that in, though. And then, a school. Now, we don't have quite enough money for a school. So, we're going to go take out our first loan. There we go. And then, we're going to... Uh, we don't want to change taxes or anything right now. We'll leave that where it is. But with our school, uh, elementary school, I kind of want to put it in there, but that's fine. We could build it its own little road, I suppose. Um... We could build a road out here and just make the inside of this our elementary school, I suppose. That works. Yeah. That works. Perfect. Uh, they're unhappy because they have a road next to them. They're going to be very happy because we're doing that to construct the new school. Everyone's very, very happy. Uh, I kind of wanted, hmm, wanted to just lower the size of that road a little bit, but that's alright. We maybe put something at the end of it later. Cool. Well, that's not a bad little start to our village. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. As it is the first episode of a series, I would appreciate likes, comments, subscriptions, all that sort of stuff, and just because it helps the search ranking and helps the channel grow. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.